Make sure they're all smooth with no lumps. Y'all are like, I'm gonna stop. You're turning us on. <laughs> Addicts, this is Anna Absolute and welcome to my channel. I'd like to dedicate this video to my grandma who I lost to breast cancer when I was around 21, so about five, five years ago. I'm older than that, about, wow, eight years ago. I was with her in her last moment of her life. I miss her so much and I'd like to de dedicate this video to her. I'm gonna be sharing with you my pink bottles in my collection um, and yeah, in honor of breast cancer awareness. So the three women that I started, um, pink is the new black tag, which is kind of basically what this video is, um, was AI the Great, Perfume Lover 80, and Fab Finds by Ketra. Guys, um, look up their channels below, check them out, maybe subscribe to them. No one tagged me. I just wanted to do it because breast cancer awareness is um, so important. Get your sisters checked out. Make sure they're all good. Make sure they're all smooth with no lumps. Y'all are like, I'm gonna stop. You're turning us on. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I wanted to do this video because yeah, I've lost somebody to breast cancer and it is real and it freaking sucks. Sucks. Um, get out there, get your get your mama's tested, okay? Yeah, anyways, I got a lot here, so let go. So guys, the first one in my collection that is pink is Narciso Rodriguez for her. Oh de parfum. This is a musky fruity floral sheepra, which is like what they want to describe it as. To me, it's like a scratchy rose and musk fragrance. And by and when I say scratchy, that's just like what comes to my head on how it smells, but I love it. I love it. I love it. It lasts forever. It projects. This is perfect for the spring to me. I'd wear this to church if I went to church. Well, when I go to church, I, I've been missing a lot of Sundays, but yeah. Blame it on COVID. <laughs> Not the reason, but anyways. Next, everyone's favorite juvenile fragrance, and that is Pink Sugar. Cotton candy and vanilla. Oh, whenever everything, dude, I wish everything wasn't so closed here in Alaska, but this is like what I'd wear if I, whenever I'm having fun. Like if I was wearing something cute and going to the fair, I would spray this on me. Um, before I really had a lot of fragrances, I wore this a lot just everywhere. But now that I have more options, I would think like, something like a fun event where I'm dressing in pink or just like looking cute like with glit like if I had glitter on my body at all I'd wear this it is sensual but it's super sweet and very um, mass appealing too next um this is a new one to my collection this is bodacious it has the pink bow so I included it um this is juicy couture's bodacious it's basically viva la juicy with melon and coconut and it's freaking good ah i really like it and i cannot wait to summer to, for summer to wear this i'm actually kind of glad i have it now just like to let it macerate like just let it like get a little older in the bottle while i have it because i bet it'll be like super strong by the time summer comes that's just a random theory in my head, but that's what I feel like. Anyways, guys, I'm so glad I have this in my collection. Every time I've tried to buy it on like Fragrance Net or Fragrance X, it's always sold out. So I found it at Burlington in Utah when I was visiting and I was so happy. I love it. Yeah. Next. You guys know how I feel about this. This is my baby Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. Can you guys see that nicely? This is a uh, Dolce Garden, Mag Magnolia, Coconut, Frangipani, Vanilla. It's a warm tropical floral mm, that I love. Oh, there's also almond milk in here. The almond milk makes it super creamy. I love this fragrance. Next. I, mean, I love this fragrance. This is my new little fave, and that is Ariana Grande. Um, thank you, Next in its little um, broken heart. Um, 
And shout out to Amber Chantel. I'm gonna um, tag her down below. She said this looks like a freaking like a uh, egg cracking. And now I cannot see anything else. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is good. I get a lot of raspberry and pear out of this. There's also coconut. I don't, to me, I don't get a lot of synthetic coconuts. Like even in um, Dolce Garden, I don't really get like a sharp coconut note at all. Um, to me, coconut more smells like a, like a texture, like a, I just can't smell it. I can't smell it outright, except in certain fragrances, but I don't smell it in this one. But a lot of people say that the coconut is very, um, is very prominent. This is just super girly, super sweet, and I adore it. Um, this actually lasted over eight hours on me the other day when I wore it. Um, and uh, you do have to overspray, but it projects for the first two hours really strong. And after that, you can actually still smell it. Um, I would say probably like this distance. Uh, it's so good, so sweet. Um, I really like this one. Thank you, next. My next pink bottles would be my Delinas. I have Exclusive and the original. I like Exclusive better, but mostly just because it's, it's like a signature scent. It's powdery. It reminds me of like a Cabbage Patch doll face or like just like a plastic doll face. That's what it smells like to me. And I love it. <laughs> the rose in here is not as strong as the rose in the um, the original, but it's definitely a rosy fragrance. The original is tart and sweet, and the sillage is amazing on the original. Um, everyone talks about this. This is a perfect spring fragrance, and I can't wait to bust it out again in spring. Um, last year, I did wear it in the, in the winters because that's when I bought it, and I was just in love, and people were like, oh my gosh, what is that smell? And they could smell me like literally across the room, but not in an obnoxious way. It, it doesn't like project, project, but the sillage leaves like a trail, and it goes just in and out. Delina is just beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyways, yeah. Um, my Parfum de Marley Delinas. Next. Now, the juice is pink, <laughs> but the bottle's not pink, but whatever, okay? This is Insolence Eau de Toilette by Guerlain. This is a powdery violet. The powder, I believe, comes from the iris in here. It smells like candy but a powdery candy. I've never had a candied violet before, but a lot of people compare this to that, to the smell of those. Um, the reason I bought this was because of Ga Gabriella Francesca. I'm gonna link her channel down below. She's amazing. I'm glad she works at Disney, that she smelt this in one of their stores because now I have it in my collection. Um, a lot of people have said that this is like a mature fragrance just because of the powder in here and I honestly think it's more, it's not mature at all. I think it's very playful and it's just powdery. Yeah, anyways, that's just my opinion. Next, this is Hardcore Rose by Victoria's Secret. I'd have to say this is one of my um, more, ones I like to wear more for my Victoria's Secret fragrances. Since I've been um, buying new fragrances, a lot of my Victoria's Secret fragrances have kind of like, um, I haven't been wearing them as much because I have so many others that I just enjoy, but this one I still love. If you guys haven't tried this one, go out and try it. You guys will probably love it. It's like a fresh rose, fresh rose. I like it. Next. Uh, actually, is this one my last one? Wow, I guess I didn't have as many pink fragrances as I thought I did. Anyways, guys, the last um, pink fragrance in my collection is Juicy, Viva La Juicy Noir by Juicy Couture. I, I love this fragrance, okay? This is my favorite juvenile fragrance, okay? And I do not care what anybody says. 
Um, if you've smelled Teas by Victoria's Secret, this is literally exactly the same. Just lasts a little bit longer. Um, I had Teas Noir when it first came out a long, long time ago, and I would just keep rebuying that over and over again. That was like my scent, my scent of my whole um, late, mid, early 20s to mid 20s. This smells just like that, but lasts longer and it's cheaper. <laughs> um, sometimes I, I, the last time I bought teas, it was on the semi-annual sale and it was pretty cheap, but I got this for $35 off fragrance net. So I never need to buy teas again, but it's, it's just sweet and sexy and men love this fragrance. Um, I've had a lot of men comment uh, when I talk about this fragrance, like, oh, it's so sexy. Oh, it's so sexy. I'm like, yeah, it is. I guess it is. And that's why I like it. Anyways, guys, um, except even the longevity is not very long with this one. I probably get six hours max out of it. Um, but it smells good. And I love it. And it's never going out of my collection. Guys, those were um, my pink fragrances out of my collection. Um, please guys, make sure you guys are up to date on your checks. I feel like, look, I gotta go. I gotta reach all the way down to get my boobs in the freaking fill. Okay, hold on, let me sit up nicer. Okay, there we go. Get your, um, get your girls tested. Um, make sure they're all good, you know, do your little manual checks every day. Every day? No, you don't need to do them every day. I don't know, I'm not a doctor.